Hi, so welcome back. This is Goddess Nicole Taro, back to bring you another energetic read for the collective for my beautiful and handsome soul tribe members. How are you guys doing on this Friday? It's Friday, guys. Friday, okay? I hope all is well. I hope your overall health is doing well. With that being said, guys, we're going to get a prayer before we get started. But however you know, I can be loud on this channel. I also can cry on this channel. I also can use profanity from time to time. It all depends on what energies I pick up on, what energies I embody. The channel messages, the channel songs. It all plays a part over here, guys. We're getting the messages out there quickly as possible, okay? And truthful as possible. With that being said, Holy Spirit of the highest light, Protect me and protect my collective as I tap into the energies. Anything that is not of you, I ask that you close and shut that door. Don't allow any negative energies and to come impact the reading here, God. And we love you. Ooh. Little mashes went everywhere, guys. <laughs> they went everywhere, honey. How are you guys doing on this beautiful Friday? I hope all is well. Well, it's kind of like, it's kind of like gloomy outside here in the South. Okay, where I'm located at. It's been raining. It rained all night last night. So yeah, it's kind of raining. How are you guys doing? I hope everybody is okay, bro. I hope your overall health is doing good, man. I know the spiritual journey can be very tough for a lot of us, okay? So just keep going, my loves, keep going. But I was picking up on some energy. Uh, somebody wants to come in and tell you something, give you some type of information collected, okay? Maybe somebody wants to come in and show you proof or get confessed something. That's the energy I was getting, okay? Maybe this person wants to fess up. I'm hearing fess up to something that they may have did or they may have been a part of collective, okay? Let's see here. <laughs> so somebody wants to expose that they were a liar or they may have did something to you in the past that you wasn't aware of and they want to confess to it. They want to bring you some product, some type of proof, okay? Hmm. Let's see. Or they want to tell you what somebody else may have done and leaving out the part what they have may have done. Mm. They are telling me to start with these. Let's start with the Kemper-ish Oracle deck by Intuitive Cab. Let's see. Mm. Somebody name could be uh, Holly, Mark, Marquez, more quit, okay. Some of you guys are going grocery shopping every day, or you already have. I just see somebody picking up a lot of items and throwing them in the basket, child. Okay, <laughs> some of you guys are just going in there, just getting what you can and coming up out of there because some of us we don't like to be in crowded places. Okay, some of you guys hate going grocery shopping, some of you guys. Just like to order it online, okay? Like I do. I like it. Come to my door, okay? <laughs> but sometimes that Walmart app be tripping though, okay? So somebody name could be Marcus, Mark, Mark, Marquette, Holly, Raymond, <sighs> Sylvester. Cormac Maslin wants to come in and tell you something. This is who wants to come in. The number 67 can be significant. 76 can be significant. Somebody could have been born in 1967 or 1976. Okay, June or July could be significant. Okay, what about this? That they're, still, they're not awake and this person is going to come in confessing something that somebody else may have done and leaving out the part they may have done because they're still asleep. Something to do with the numbers 47 or 74 can be significant. 
May can be significant. I mean, uh, April could be significant. I see seven, seven can, can be significant. Somebody could be 46. Okay, 77, 76. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, he coming in to talk to you, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Somebody wants to come in and confess to you. This person is still asleep. The veil is still over their eyes. This person just want to come in and see what they can gather from you. Information. Okay. How you receive your money. How you receive. How you are stable. This person could be watching you getting money. Okay. You could be in this Queen of Pentacles. Very self-sufficient. Nurturing. Grounded. Okay. Uh... You could be in this prosper, pro, prosperous energy here, okay? Something to do with the number 12 can be significant. Somebody could be born on the 12th of the month. <clears throat> what about the rich girl here, Spirit? Why does this karmic masculine is coming back now all of a sudden? What's, what's up? This person wants a family with you, child. What? <laughs> is this what they want to confess? Yo... But this person is still toxic. They don't, they, they are still asleep. They haven't went through any awakening. This person could be under judgment. And they're only coming back because they know you are independent. You're making money. You are self-sufficient. You are independent. And you are, could be a mother. You doesn't have to be. You could own your own business here. This person wants to start a family with you. This could be a somebody that has left their family out in the past. They want to repair their family. But this person is still karmic. You cannot trust this person at all. Something to do with the numbers 21. So this could be your kid's father. This could be your ex-husband. Okay, Divine Feminine. I'm just picking up that energy. Somebody just wants you back for beneficial here. Yes. Somebody just wants to be happy with you, but they haven't done any work here. Somebody haven't put in the work, baby. Not at all. You can't come back if you haven't did any work, baby. Not on yourself. Somebody hasn't did any work on themselves. This person is still karmic and they're still asleep. They haven't went through no transformation at all. Karmic as hell, but wants to come back. Absolutely not. They find you irresistible. They find you blissful. So somebody wants to come back home. Somebody could be 45 or 54. Something to do with the numbers 42 or 45. The numbers 14 or 15 could be significant. Shoot, why this person wants to come back, Spirit? What was all of a sudden? What he's going to confess here? Man, this person. See? They want to come back and distract you off of your path. This could be presently right now, or this could be happening coming up in your future. Somebody could be 36, okay? Or 63. <laughs> Take it out of resonates. Why in the distant future? Somebody could be traveling towards you too as well. Somebody could want to travel. I'm looking at the highway here. I just feel like you're on your right path, your rifle path now, Queen of Pentacles, okay? Because that's what the rich girl represents in the Kipper's deck here, okay? I just feel like you're grounded, you're stable now, okay? Your hard work has paid off. You're comfortable. Yeah, somebody is in bad health. This person has been bad health, mental health, physical health, spiritual health, all the above. Absolutely not. Somebody could be 31. This person wants to put you in a state of mind of bad health here. You can't trust this person. They just going to come back and gossip because there's a karmic feminine. They could be going through legal troubles here. This is somebody that spreads lies. This person is just as karmic as they are. This could be somebody they broke up with or this is who they with. And they're going through legal troubles. Child, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Yeah, this person hadn't did any transition. This is somebody you you heal from that wants to come back with trans 
Transitioning, that's the death card, okay? It says somebody is avoiding a change. This person could be in a stagnation, uh, stagnant, stuck, lost. This person could be continuing old habits. Uh, they could be depressed about you. <clears throat> this person is avoiding this. This person could actually be sick, mentally, physically, emotional. This person may have abused you and you release them. You let them go. This is something you ended. But this person don't want it to be over. Okay. Let's see. What about this spirit? What the fuck about the death energy? Yeah, he doesn't want this to be over. I cannot make it up. Endings in the reverse. This is somebody that wants their family back. They lost it. It ain't nothing you can it ain't nothing they can do about this. This is over with. You have grew up past this person. You're on a whole nother level and you've ended things with this person, but somebody doesn't want to let your energy go. They don't want to move forward. They don't want to heal. They don't want to change either. So what they thought you were gonna stay around and stick around and go through this karmic ass cycle with them? Absolutely not. Something to do with the numbers 91. 1991 can be significant. The numbers 19. Yeah, you're in your divine divinity here. Yeah, you're connected to source, my love. You have grew up here. And your gifts have increased. Your money could be increasing. Uh, your looks, you could look better. You could be taking better care of yourself. I just feel like somebody here is destructive. They're not part of God here. They're not woke. This person is toxic and low vibrational. You're in this divine divinity energy. 1992 can be significant or 29 can be significant. Yes. You ain't got time. You're connected to the source here, my love. And your children, if you have children. Yeah. Yeah, this person wants... This is a person that is not going to commit to you. With commitment in the reverse. This is a player energy. Yeah, you done change. You're not the same anymore. And this person is realizing it, but they still want to come back and it's toxic energy. Oh my God, absolutely not. Let me turn my camera, I mean my uh, ring light up some more guys so y'all can see. There you go. Yeah, that's crazy. Absolutely not. Yeah, and they could be mad about legal issues that they could have with a karmic soul tie of theirs somebody in the legal system is mad or this person is mad that they couldn't get you caught up in the legal system somebody is mad about your change what with conflict this person is blowing smoke out their ears the numbers 9 or 55 can be significant <laughs> this person is mad that you're changing it, ain't have, it doesn't have anything to do with them you don't have nothing, yeah. They feel trapped. This person could be going to jail. Or they in jail. Take it out of resonates. This person is in bad health. They depressed. They going through some shit. Because you leaving their ass out in the cold. And they don't want to end this. They feel trapped. Yeah, this person wants to travel. I'm telling you, somebody wants to come back and confess, say something to you. But this person, man, they coming back in karmic energy. Yeah, this person could be doing voodoo or they're concerned. They could play nice, but they're karmic, but they do voodoo too. Child, absolutely not. Yeah, you abandoned this person. You walked away. Absolutely. <laughs> this person ain't willing to change. They're not. They're lustful. Lusting after you. Absolutely not. This person think they can get you back in the bed and you would give them money. You would open up to them. You would let down your guards. I, no, a queen of pentacles is grounded. What she say is how she feels. And that's just period. You ain't not going to change your mind. I don't care if you have the biggest one in the world. You're not going to change it. Sit your ass down somewhere and move on. Yeah, because the person is still blind. The veil is still over this person's eyes. Yeah, and they're attached to a karmic feminine. This is who they're attached to. Child, this ice queen. 
So this could be a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius that's, that this person is attached to. Or you are in this Ice Queen energy and you're sticking by your faith. You're grounded and you're cutting this person off. Okay, you're telling them what, what is on your mind. You're being cold to them. Somebody could be 41, 65, 56, 69, or 96, 96, 1996 can be significant. Okay, 46. This person has an entity attached to them. Yeah, a sex demon. They need your energy, but your faith is what's keeping you from this person. Your divine coverage, your heritage. Okay, some of you guys are deep off in your spirituality and you pray every single day to pray this off of you. Somebody is trying to attach this to you so you can go down a level or multiple levels. Okay, the devil is trying to attach an entity to you because you are so, you are so submersed in, in faith. You are connected to the source. I, I cannot with these people, bro. Yeah, this could be your karmic ex or karmic soul tie that you had. This karmic last one. Yeah, this person is broke. And this queen of uh, this could be someone. Who is this queen of uh ice king, ice queen here? Spirit. Who is this ice queen? Ice queen here. <sighs> Divine masculine. What it fell right on top of lust? Wow. What is it? What I fell on top of lust? Divine masculine here. This is who been sending you to death, man. This this, this was your divine counterpart. That is lustful out here. That's done. Stop sending you death magic because they were doing voodoo. Voodoo. But they could have been doing voodoo on your divine masculine. Trying to make it seem like this person doing projection spells to make this, this divine masculine seem lustful. This, this queen of ice queen could be doing this. And another karmic masculine. You can take it either way here. What is this? Yeah, somebody is trying to project energy over you to keep you from going into your connection and trying to throw death magic at your counterpart here, rich girl. When this person is a nice guy, this divine masculine, he is not lustful. And the death magic is not working on him either. So there's a karmic masculine of your past. <laughs> that could be cutting a uh, ice queen off too as well. I feel like you are the divine feminine ice uh, rich girl. I feel like there's also somebody from this person's past, your divine masculine past, that they're cutting off. Could be their baby mama, mother, somebody here that wants them in lustful energy, but this person is not. Somebody could have been sending this divine masculine death magic to as well. He's actually a nice guy. Somebody's projecting that energy towards you to make it seem like this person is a bad guy. And they're not. Your karmic masculine is doing this. This person could be in jail, locked up. That's projecting this energy towards you and they're still asleep. This person is lustful. Child, they want you to think your divine masculine is lustful. They're doing rituals. I cannot make it up. Voodoo. This person want doing voodoo on your occupation. They are expecting something to happen when it pertains to your job and your soul connections. Boy, if you don't sit down somewhere, whoever this is, you and this ice queen. Yeah, because you don't want this person. Who is Carmen Maslin here, Spirit? Yeah, this Queen of Swords. He's attached to a Queen of Swords. So it's, man. This masculine is. This masculine is shape-shifting. 
and feminine energy and sometime in masculine energy. Oh my God. This could be male or female here. Or you could look at it like this way. Divine Masculine has somebody from his past that's doing spell work and you have somebody from your past that has this masculine doing spell work for them on you and your family and your soul connections. You connected to source. They're doing rituals here. Oh my God. Twin of Swords energy here, Spirit. I'm telling you, she is dark magic. Come through, Spirit, with the Page of Pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody who is overly emotional, easily influenced, cold-hearted, cruel, bitter. This could be somebody's mother teaching them how to do dark magic. This is somebody who is a non-committal and they want a relationship with you. It's a fuck no. Whoever this is. They want this to a cup. They want to unify love with you. But it's a no. Yeah, you abandoned this star. I'm telling you, you walking away. You don't want this person. At all. You walked away from this connection. Adios. You were disappointed and you abandoned them. You, you pulled back your energy. For some of you, you guys escaped from this person. They were toxic. And they're surrounded by toxic individuals too. And they were abusive to, to, to some of you guys. This could have been a narcissist energy that could have learned all this information from their mammy or somebody that's close to them. This ice queen, which is this queen of swords or this masculine and shape-shifting from feminine and masculine energies here. Trying to do death magic on your connections to this divine masculine and you. This person is entrapped in a self-imposed imprisonment. This is somebody wishing bad on your uh, connections and sending dark rituals your way. Oh my God. Tell us more here, Spirit. Spill it. Yeah, because somebody wants the family with you. They know you're finna be in this Ten of Pentacles connection and you're finna be with your divine counterpart. But this person didn't commit to you. They were slimy, they were trash, they were gutter film. This is somebody non-committal, player energy. Lustful, very greedy. Somebody wants your money, wants to control you. But they not finna have this. So they sit and watch. They see your progress, they see how you growing. Somebody is a stalker here. Yeah, somebody could be in jail. Somebody wants to come in and offer you unrequited fucking love. Ace of Cups to the nine of, uh, the knight of cups. This person is blocked and they tell a lot of lies here with they mammy about the queen of pentacles. This could be somebody in jail or they're going to spiritual jail. Take it how it resonates with the eight of swords here. We got imprisonment already. We got eight, eight here. Somebody knows you're abundant. Yeah, they do this shit behind the scenes in the secret. This person is withdrawal. They going through it, whoever this is. Isolated, lonely. This could definitely be somebody in prison or jail. A Virgo or Gemini. Taking however resonates here. This person could be at a distance from you. They done lost their way since you disconnected from their ass. Star energy, Queen of Pentacles energy here. You could be on a public platform. Somebody could be watching you. They know you're growing and you have elevated past them. You have expanded. Some of you guys move away from this person. Actually move to a different state. Over across seas, country. Whatever it is, you got away from this person. You cut ties with them. Now they're depressed. They're sinking. They can't play on your sacral or uh, or root chakra or uh, solar plexus chakra with this lust energy. These rituals. Somebody wants to travel, but they can't. They restrict it. They see you celebrating here or you finna celebrate. And they see you working real hard here towards whatever you go it is, which is this Ten of Pentacles. You could be in this Ten of Pentacles already. 
Somebody is focused on their money, their family, their home life, building, lineages, okay? Having longevity. This is financial wealth, security, family, long-term success. You're contributing to that. And you're not focused on this person, whoever they is. Get on somewhere because they betrayed you. They were reckless. And they could have went to a high priestess here in the reverse to do readings on you, to get information on you. They know what you're going to have coming in. Somebody want to betray you if they haven't already did it. Gemini energy, Aquarius energy here. Pisces energy here in the reverse. Secrets about this person has came out. And whatever they do, whoever they got to do something to you. And this person is unstable. You cannot trust this person at all. Absolutely not. Their finances is, is unstable. They're overwhelmed. This person doesn't commit to anything. If they do, they overcommit. So they actually get the fuck on your nerves. They won't give you space. They're a tyrant. Somebody is overwhelmed because they don't have any balance here. Things are out of control. Money is gone. This person may be homeless. They may not have a job. Yeah, these rituals they've been attacking you with over and over. This is what this person has been doing. Jesus Christ. And your divine connection or your divine counterpart here. Constantly attacking you. So you won't have this Ten of Pentacles. So you won't be in this star energy. You won't have closeness or connection to source. You won't stand in your divine divinity either. Somebody wants to stop all of this for you. Collective. They do. I'm tired of reading on this shit, but it's here. So I'm going to read on it. Somebody don't want you to be in a divine connection. Because they know once you be in this, it's nothing they can do. Some of you guys could be single. Okay, or you you're heading towards this and somebody is attacking it constantly. They don't want you to be in a marriage. They don't want you to be happy. They don't want you to have a home, a solid foundation. Somebody is scatterbrained. They all over the fucking place. They very impulsive, unpredictable. This person has a disregard for consequence. This is why they're entrapped in their mind. They have negative thoughts, self-imposed restriction, imprisonment, victim mentality. This is who this person is. Yeah, and they want to come in with that bullshit. Absolutely not. No, this person is psychotic. Whoever this is. Whatever, child. Who is this spirit? Yeah, this is what they want to do. Queen of Pentacles, I cannot make it up. Rich girl energy. Someone who is practical, financially stable, a working parent. You guys could be working, focused. You're not focused on this crowd. Whatever somebody is doing is backfiring to them and making them mentally sick or spiritually sick, physically sick too. Whatever they doing here is going back. I see 888 here. 8888. You're abundant and this person is being blocked and this is why they're trying to block your emperor. They're trying to come back so quickly to block this. Because they know that if you finna have this. This is what they're trying to block. This is nasty ass energy here. They, they want your, your divine masculine not to come in and commit to you either. They want him to be in lustful energy. But they can't stop this because this is going to happen regardless. We got the four ones coming over the emperor. So it's going to happen. And somebody else needs to go ahead and move on. Just move on. Yeah, some of you guys are single, like I said. You in this queen of pentacles energy. Yeah, this person stalking. Sending you to evil eye. This person is very deceptive, manipulative. This is something somebody coming in and trying to manipulate you to control to control your mind here. But this is a bad investment. Okay. 
Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. This person lacks any vision. They lacks any success. They could be broke, busted, and disgusted. They don't have any motherfucking work habits. They poor. They could be lazy. They don't have a job. Absolutely not. We don't want that shit. Yeah, and they don't want to let the energy go at all. Somebody done made a fire for themselves. They made chaos for themselves. This person who does not want to change, they're avoiding it. Avoiding healing here. It says personal transition, resistant to change. That card says the same thing too. This is an emotional baggage that some of you guys have dropped off. You dumped this person and you're not talking to them. Now they stalking you negatively here, sending you this evil eye, sending your divine counterpart these rituals, attacking you over and over with these motherfucking rituals. And it's going right back, spreading propaganda, lies, slandering your name about love. Okay, you could have been with this person, they could have been telling people lies about how you love them. This person is blocked intuitionally. They block. They don't have an intuition. This is somebody who is dumb as fuck. Confused. They got inner conflict. They're not realizing what they're doing. They don't have mental clarity at all. Somebody has an emotional loss here. They're oppressed and a, a, I'm telling you, the devil. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. They attached to the devil. Yeah, they mad that you ended this. They mad. They cannot connect to your energy no more. You don't pull it back. You, you're not connected to them physically, emotionally, spiritually, or none of that. You've healed from them. And this is a missed opportunity, and you get the justice here. Simple as that. They could be with this karmic over here that's bitter as fuck too. Queen of Pentacles, I mean, Queen of Cups in the reverse. This person could be attached to a lot of fucking women. They done got pregnant and they screwed. A lot of fucking whores. Oh my God. And they won't shoot. Because they see you as a money magnet. Absolutely not. And they want to fuck up what you got going on. Because their life is fucking terrible. This is not right. God is not going to understand that. You are fully aware of who this motherfucking devil is. And this is why you put an ending to this devil. Yeah. This, this person may feel betrayed. Because this person won't shoot. There could be many women that want this person because they selfish as fuck. All they think about is themselves and lust. Absolutely not. Somebody very arrogant, egotistical, and they're depressed and they're weak as the fuck. Weak. No. They don't have any inner strength. And they're insecure. They, the angels said this person cannot come too close to you at all. They're not going to let this happen. Temperance is here. Yeah, bring that chaos towards you with these motherfucking third parties. I cannot make it up. Keep them bitches over there in line and you stay over there with them. You don't want this fuck nigga. You want this divine emperor here. That they've been trying to motherfucking project over your mind like this person ain't right for you. Using this fucking magic. These rituals and shit. Whoever this person is. Yeah, because this is a motherfucking lustful demon that's trying to get back to you. But it got all these hoes fighting ar around his ass. Thus gonna cause you a tower if you let this person back. They're going through shit with these hoes. Half of these hoes could be he done got pregnant and got chaps by him. And they arguing over this lame nigga with this same lame dick. Take your raggedy ass on somewhere. Yeah, because you're not seeing this person in high honor. They're burdened. They just projecting that negative ass energy over there because they're not successful. And their ego is big as fuck. That's, what, that's their downfall. They dick in their ego. Yeah, and this is why they stress the fuck out. I can't make it up. That magic did not work. They were just reckless out here. A fool. That's all it was. Because you going to have this Ace of Pentacles. You're going to be happy. Yeah. Sun energy. It's been exposed. If it has not already. It's been exposed. 
God is gifting you. Your ancestors are giving you, making you happy, making sure you are protected, making sure that you are grounded. Your job is protected. Your children, your lineages, your bloodline. Man, somebody needs to move the fuck around because they are delayed and stuck. Get on someone. Let's get a uh, card here. We'll close out. A couple of these cards. One, one of these cards somewhere. I'm sick of this evil ass motherfucker here. Yeah, we got passion here. It says, the universe is always guiding me towards my passions. The angels ask you to act and follow what you believe in with your heart. You have come to, the, to this earth to fulfill a mission. Unleash your full potential and engage in activities that bring you pleasure. Okay? Your job here, your career, your spiritual business for some of you guys. Some of you guys are white witches. Some of you guys are tarot readers. You do what I do. Okay? You're on a mission here. You ain't got time for this shit. You're not. And you can trust that. That your angels going to have your back. The universe going to have your back. Regardless of the outcome, I am taken care of. And that's just period. Your angels are here, my love. They are protecting you from this person that you have surrendered. And they're proud of you. Come through, spirit. It says, regardless of the outcome, I am taken care of. The angels want you to know you need to not worry about the resolution of this current situation. Instead of trying to solve the problem with sheer force, trust you will get the exactly what you need. No matter the outcome, the uncertainty of the situation, you are taken care of. And that's just period. I told you, you are divine chosen. Okay, under the bottom of the deck. Forget these people and move on with your life. You have. Okay, you have. Queen of Pentacles. Divine Feminine, you have. Somebody else needs to move on because you're not going to take them back and you don't want them, okay? You don't want to be with somebody that is constantly out here busting in open for Tom, Dick, and Harry. It's a no. And having holes to fight you over a nigga that's dried up already. Somebody who is sick already. Absolutely not. Y'all stay safe and I love you guys. Take care.